so this is the outfit for today this is what i will be wearing shopping do not mind the mess in the background okay i need to iron those when i get home <laughs> so it's clean i just need to iron it but i won't bring a jacket because it's quite warm today so this is enough and i'll have my shopping bag and i have another bag there that i need to bring with me but this is the outfit and let's go shopping <laughs> I just got back from shopping and I have to show you guys something I have to show you. I don't know if it will show up on camera, but can you see that? Hold on. Can you see that right here? My stockings, my stockings ripped when I was out. So it happened at the very beginning of shopping and it's so sad when that happens because I like my tan stockings, okay? I like it. Luckily, I'm almost the same shade, so you, you can't really tell that far away, but up close you can see it, yeah. So I had to walk around shopping with a ripped stocking, not it. So um, before I get into the actual haul of things, I the shoes that are in the video, the black ones with the bow, like the silver bows, those were, I think, 1599 which is about... $160 which I think that's a full price for those shoes I did not buy them because what am I going to use black shoes for right they were so cute I have to share them with you but the other high like I think underneath boots if I remember correct and they were $1,099 Norwegian kroner which makes it about let's say $110 approximately and they are so gorgeous, worth the price, I would say. But again, what am I going to do with black boots? I wish they were like in like the... I have an idea what I wanted. The blue, uh, the other first shoes in blue and then the other underneath boots in pink. I would be so for it. But I just thought they were so gorgeous. I had to share them with you. Um, Just that. I don't remember the name of the store. Uh, Scooting in maybe? Mm, yeah, it's a Norwegian store. Uh but and then when it comes to when i was in new yorker i tried on the pink dress and i tried it in extra small and when i tried it on the knitting gapped a little bit so you can see through a little bit so if you're wearing anything that isn't tan underneath that dress or the exact same pink it's gonna show and so i didn't like that but the dress was so thick it's so luscious and thick and so perfect for winter and so gorgeous but I don't know I don't know what I feel about it but I did buy something in New Yorker and I have the bag right here so I need a new pajamas because um, my other ones ripped and I was looking at the ones in I was looking at these ones first but I use them when I'm tanning so I wanted to get black instead just so that it doesn't stain and then if it does it doesn't show as much and it doesn't ruin the pajamas pajamas too much and i tried them on in black and the smallest size they had was small but that was too big it was falling off my waist that's how big they were in small 
and so the but i knew the white one had extra small so i went ahead and bought, bought that without trying it on so i didn't film the black ones on even though they, because they were so big they didn't look good and i didn't try the white ones on but i know they're gonna fit so what i ended up buying is basically satin pajamas i know people get this confused they would be like oh that's silk pajamas no silk is a fiber satin is a weave it's the way the uh, thread is put together to create this glossy side which is why it's a satin weave and satin can be made of basically any material out there but some materials come off with shiny and some less shiny but a smooth finish like satin cotton uh bedsheets so these are like the problem with my other pajamas is they were too short but i bought them for like an emergency purpose so i just kept them all those times even though the pants were too short but it has like this little cute pink detail on the bottom and i think they are absolutely cute and they are long enough for me which is why i wanted to go to new yorker to begin with because i knew the pajamas would be long enough and the shirt let me just get it out here the shirt looks something along this line right here it also has the pink detail around the trim around like really baby pink really if you're looking at it baby pink and it's stripy and it's gorgeous and it has the trim on the sleeves as well so it is matchy matchy and again i got this in a size small and it's so soft guys and the pajamas each piece cost 179 kroner which makes it about 18 dollars which that is not a bad price and it looks so good now on to i have a few pieces in here that is not from normal but normal <laughs> and let's start with the first ones that i can see that are not from normal and from the grocery store got some tampons because you need tampons and so that's what I got. And then I needed new bed sheets because why not? And the only one they had was like white and medium gray. And I do not do gray. Okay, that's just not for me. And so I got the white one, big one. So I probably need more, but this is what I got this time. So I will see in the future what I need and what I don't need. Then I went into normal and I think the rest is from normal. I needed more cotton pads, so I got more cotton pads. And this one is just 120 pieces, so that is good. Then I got some more deodorant spray, the Garnier Mineral Ultra Dry 48 Hours deodorant spray. I didn't get that much from normal this time. Last time I feel like it was so much. Then I got some face masks and for some reason... I have five when I was supposed to buy four. Okay, so I must have accidentally grabbed two of this one, which uh, that was not on purpose, but it is it is what it is. But this is Sans Green Tea Boost face mask. And then I grabbed, this was on purpose, I thought. No, I did grab one of each. Then I got the Sans Chamomile Boost face mask then the vitamin c boost five cents again oh this was thinner yeah that was much thinner then i got the pomegranate boost that looks like this from sense that is the face mask so i have one okay that's good then i got some of the saint moritz uh tanning mousse in shade dark that looks like this and some colgate white teethening toothpaste just because i prefer with whitening I feel like I can see the difference. Like it's such a such a small, small, small difference, but it's there and it just makes sense to me. Then I got some more Dove Body Love Care and Radiant Glow Body Lotion, the one that makes your skin shimmer. And this one I can't show because I got in calendar present for my mom and I can't show it in case she watches this video. She's most likely not going to watch it, but just in case. And then I have the magnesium from Colette Plus because I need magnesium. I don't know about you, but I have an old injury in my knee from when I was six years old. And 
it hurts when I don't take magnesium but the reason why I started magnesium is because I had a lot of like cramps when I was a teenager so my mom said to buy magnesium and I've kind of like been using it ever since and it helps I can tell when I'm not using magnesium because it was one time a few years ago I ran out and there was like two weeks until we were going to the mainland and to so to go shopping and I was like oh I, I will make it like it, it will be fine uh not fine I last I think 48 hours after not taking a pill <laughs> I started to feel it okay so my mom saw that I was walking like an old person <laughs> because I was in so much pain in my legs and uh, she had enough magnesium for the both of us so I just took like 14 pills from her to last until I would buy and then you're like why didn't you just order it online well, by the time it would have arrived at my place, because I live on an island, it takes a little bit longer, it, I would be going shopping anyway, so it wouldn't be, it would be pointless, really. So, then I got some Garnier Fruities Damage Erasure Conditioner, and I only bought one because I have a, whenever there's like this much left and it's not enough for a shower, I like to put that amount into another bottle and that one is pretty full so i need to use from that as well so i technically have actually more than two of these if you think about the amount that i have left so i only need to buy one and then got some more face wipes i feel like i've been so lazy lately that i'm using face wipes and uh, so i'm going through them a lot more so i just got some and this is wipe vibe wipe face facial wipes for cleaning cleansing and makeup removal and this is for normal skin and uh, I almost forgot to put this on the list I remember it this morning when I was doing my makeup I was like hold on I need more of this and that is the W7 stroke of genius in blonde eyebrow pencil then the very last thing I need new foundation and I was like it's influenced by tiktok I guess so I've been seeing this going around on my TikTok and I decided to give it a try. And from what I remember, it's a dupe from the Charlotte Tilbury one. So I got the uh, W7 Lumina, 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 uh, and I got in the shade Ambient. So it looks like this and I got it Ambient because the next color off, up would be too dark for my second day tan it would be perfect for my first day tan but for the second and third day tan it will be too dark and if this is on the lighter side i can just apply more bronzer and blush and it will even out so i think this will be great so this is again the shade ambient just so you know and that is all that i bought in the sense of beauty and fashion and i did buy food i even bought in supplies for my birthday next month because i originally didn't think i would go on the mainland before my birthday and so i needed to buy we were making homemade pizzas by the way uh that was my wish because i think i make a better pizza than the pizzeria that i like to go to and the price is the same homemade there and if i make a better pizza I want the better pizza and so i bought in a few supplies for that i didn't get everything that i wanted because they didn't have it in the store like vegan minced meat because i am vegan due to allergies so they didn't have that and they didn't have enough of the sour cream the vegan one they only had three left so i bought the three i needed four because i'm making enough for me to have my replacement cheese which i don't have dairy i am a completely vegan due to allergies so i can't have any cheese or anything like that but i can have sour cream uh with i'm mixing garlic and some seasoning in there and then you put it on pizza like it is cheese and it tastes like cheese it tastes amazing and i put that on but i also wanted to have some extra on the side so that people could actually put it on top of pizza like uh you would have like pizza dressing but it's homemade so i wanted to have extra which is why four is what i wanted to buy but i am going on, on the mainland before my birthday so i can go in the store and check for those two the men's meat and the <laughs> the last bit of uh sour cream that i need 
I think that's the only thing I'm missing. I also bought, I have the flour for my pizza. I have, uh, now I have the corn, I have the spinach and uh, that's it. I have the tomato sauce because I made too much pasta pizza sauce for my Italian vac vacation on a budget. And I used some for spaghetti and then I froze some for the next time I have pizza. And this will be my birthday that I will have pizza. So I will just take that out of the freezer and it will taste so good. Everything is homemade. The sauce is made from basically scratch because it's made from chopped canned tomatoes. And then I added some celery in there, added some onions. And it's just absolutely delicious. The flavoring, the spices that I put in there, it's just amazing. I should really write a cookbook. I really should. <laughs> And I'm also doing something fun for my birthday. So the original plan was going swimming in the indoor water park. But then I can't do that So uh, because of something. And then the next thing my sister suggested was going bowling. So most likely my family is going bowling on my birthday or like a few days after because it's on like Thursday and the whole family won't be here for Thursday. So the pizza and the bowling will be a little bit later than that. But that will be fine because it's like two days later i think that's fine it happened last year too last year for my 30th birthday uh i ended up having the actual celebration with the pizza and everything like that five days after my birthday because of the timing of my birthday everybody wasn't there so we had to wait for everybody and it is what it is it is what it is so this year i am having pizza and bowling most likely I will see if the plan change, but definitely pizza. Pizza is good. And so that is everything I have for you today. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I didn't film that much. I kind of forget to film. Okay. I'm enjoying my shopping. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, leave a like and a comment down below. And if you want more content like this, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because that will really help me out. Just and with that, I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.